So let's be honest, as much as it's an ISP's job to provide us with a vital service, they're still businesses and, not surprisingly, they're always looking for exciting and innovative ways to rake in that paper. Some of you won't remember this, but back in the dial-up era, they even charged for internet access by the hour. Assuming you were some kind of rube who didn't just ride from free three-month trial to three-month trial by switching credit cards all the time. Anywho, internet by the hour went the way of the dodo once broadband proliferated, but that didn't stop their innovation. These days, ISPs control the flow of that sweet, sweet data by placing data caps on your internet usage. The concept here is very simple. When you sign up for internet service, many ISPs will limit you to a certain amount of data each month, typically somewhere between 100 gigabytes and one terabyte. If you exceed your cap, you can be charged extra, have your speed throttled down, or even have your service terminated. And as high bandwidth use cases like streaming HD video have become more and more common, an increasing number of users find themselves tracking their megabytes as closely as their calories. So why exactly do the ISPs impose these limits? Is there a legitimate reason or is it just a scheme to squeeze more money out of us? Well, the most obvious technical explanation is that any given ISP has a maximum amount of bandwidth it can handle at once. Data caps theoretically help the pipes from getting clogged. But large ISPs, the ones who are most known for restrictive data caps, have so much bandwidth that network usage hardly ever approaches 100%. And US giant Comcast even tacitly admitted this in a leaked 2015 memo advising its customer service employees not to tell consumers their data cap policy was to help alleviate congestion, because it wasn't. Combined with the fact that investing in more infrastructure to carry more data at once is much cheaper than it was a decade ago, and the number of households with a broadband subscription has, at least in the US, stopped growing, the argument for data caps as a means to unclog the pipes seems pretty flimsy, especially as large ISPs tend to claim that the vast majority of their customers stay below their caps. So what's the real reason behind it? Well, at least one ISP has analogized the provision of internet service to the availability of any other scarce good, pointing out that someone who buys 10 gallons of gas pays more than someone who buys only five. This argument might be intrinsically appealing, but opponents say that because bandwidth is so cheap and ISP's profit margins are so high, internet service can't be thought of in the same way. Add the fact that due to regional opolies, many consumers don't have a ton of choice when it comes to ISPs, unreliable metering methods, and the ability of ISPs to set their own prices free from the government rate regulation that you see on your water or electric bill. And many people have become convinced that data caps are actually just another way for the ISPs to collude with their puppet masters on the trilateral commission and squeeze more money out of you. But this is the part of the video where we say that's an overly simplistic and paranoid, you know what, I just can't do this. Yeah, Europe's got a much better system where ISPs are forced to provide service without data caps and uh, I actually can't come up with a better explanation. And speaking of better explanations, do you still not have one for using your crappy old earbuds? Well then check out the new Skullcandy Crusher Wireless. They offer an immersive audio experience designed to sound good with all music, movies, and games, but especially with powerful bass-focused music like hip-hop and EDM. They even include what Skullcandy calls stereo haptic bass, which translates low sub-bass frequencies into sound that you can feel. 
You can also adjust the bass level exactly to your liking, whether you want a, just a little extra oomph in your music, or if you're an insatiable bass head that wants the hardest hitting experience possible. And there's no need to worry about battery life, because the Crusher Wireless can last for up to 40 hours on a single charge. And it comes with a backup auxiliary cable just in case. So combine this with a comfortable, subtle design, and you got a pair of punchy headphones you can take anywhere. So if you're interested in picking up a pair of the Crusher Wireless headphones, use offer code CRUSHER20-1 through the link in the video description to save 20%. So thanks for watching guys, like, dislike, check out our other channels, leave a comment with suggestions for future videos, and to tell John that soccer is called football. And don't forget to subscribe and follow.